in 2022, interest rates surged like rarely before and it caused REITs to experience their worst year since the great financial crisis. On average, REIT share prices dropped by right around 30% and many individual REITs that are smaller in size and lesser known dropped by closer to 50%. Understandably, this is causing a lot of investors to be concerned. Are REITs going bankrupt? That's a question that I've received from many of you and in today's video I'm going to address this topic. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing and in today's video I'm going to explain to you why I believe that the fears of REIT bankruptcy are way overblown. So are REITs really going bankrupt? The short answer is no. The market sentiment of REITs greatly suffered in 2022 as interest rates rose to higher levels. But the real impact on their fundamentals is actually very small in my opinion. What the market appears to ignore is that REIT balance sheets are the strongest they've ever been. The average loan to value is only right around 35%. That's very conservative compared to the 60 to 70% that a lot of private equity players will use these days. It's also very conservative to the 80-90% loan to value that you might use while, when buying your home. So the leverage level is very low. And then on top of that, most of that debt is fixed rate. And not only that, the debt maturity is also among the longest they've ever been at nearly 10 years. So a lot of REITs actually have no debt maturities for many years to come. A good example will be Tanger Factory Outlet, which has no debt maturities until 2026. And so the impact really isn't even noticeable in many cases. And here we haven't even addressed the most important topic yet, which is that of inflation. Interest rates are today only rising because inflation is so high. And the inflation actually benefits REITs. It leads to rapidly growing rents. Uh, in 2021 and 2022, the same property NOI growth of REITs were among the highest ever. Uh, many property sectors experienced their highest rent growth in decades even in some cases. And so here what you need to ask yourself is whether which is bigger? Is it the negative impact of rising interest rates or is it the positive impact of high inflation? And in most cases it's going to be the positive impact of high inflation because again leverage is low, most of it is fixed rate, maturities are very long. And so the negative impact of interest rates affects only a small fraction of the balance sheet every year. But on the flip side, the positive impact of inflation is actually going to affect uh, the totality of the balance sheet, all your assets and all its income generation potential. So again, no REITs are not going bankrupt. Despite the collapsing share prices of 2022, REIT cash flows actually grew very significantly and reached new all-time highs. This fueled also very significant dividend hikes and a lot of REITs are actually taking advantage of this sell-off by buying back shares at the moment. Could there be some exceptions? Of course, there are over 200 REITs in the US and I'm not saying here that there won't be one or even a few bankruptcies. I have a few names that even come to my mind that are quite close to a bankruptcy right now. Industrial Properties Logistic Trust, uh, Pennsylvania REIT, uh, there are quite a few that own challenged properties or are over leveraged, poorly managed. And so I'm not saying that it's impossible that a few REITs file for bankruptcy. But my point here is that the vast majority of them are nowhere close to bankruptcy. And I'm actually buying the dips in this sell off because I think that the market has greatly misunderstood the impact of interest rates on the fundamentals of REITs. That's all I had to say on this topic. Thank you very much to all of you for sticking till the end of this video. Please consider liking and subscribing. It will help me a lot. I post weekly videos on REIT investing here on YouTube. Also, feel free to come follow me on Twitter where I post real-time news on the REIT sector. Otherwise, I'll see you at my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.